Hallelujah. You God by yourself. Thank the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Wonderful Savior. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, bless your holy name. Our soul say, yes, Lord. We praise your holy name. Thank you for this great salvation. God is so full and so free for the price that was paid at Calvary for our redemption. We thank the Lord Jesus. Thank you for the renewing of the Holy Ghost. Wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. Our souls say yes. Bless God. Bless Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You know the thing that we need. You know how to do it. In the name of Jesus, you know when to do it. Encourage our hearts. In the name of Jesus, give power to the faith. God, those that have no might, increase strength. Said the youth will faint and be weary. Young men would others fall. But they that wait on the Lord, hallelujah, shall renew their strength with mount of the wings of eagles. In the name of Jesus, run and not be weary, walk and not faint. Thank the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The psalmist I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Lord, help us to see your goodness in these times. Help us to see your goodness. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Help us to see your goodness in spite of all. In spite of all. Help us to see your goodness in this land of the living. We thank the Lord Jesus. Thank the Lord Jesus. Thank the Lord Jesus. We don't want to fight and fight in our mind. In the name of Jesus, we want to panic God. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Wonderful Savior, you are our hope. You've lifted up our head. Thank the Lord Jesus. We give you praise now. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name, thank the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I'm again in Proverbs 13. Praise God in verse 12. Praise God, I'm going to come again in this, in Proverbs 13 and verse 12. Praise God. Amen. It reads like this. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when the, but when the desire coming is a tree of life. Praise God. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. Praise God. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. But when the desire happens, a uh, coming, amen, it's a tree of life. Somebody say yes to Jesus. Praise God for Jesus. Amen. And I, I don't know whether you're familiar with it. The men that was on the road to Emmaus, praise God, they had lost their hope. Praise God. And they were saying, amen, they, they were saying that they supposed it had been him that would have brought restoration to Israel. They didn't know they were talking to him. Praise God. But they were gone to Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They gave up the same day Jesus got up from the grave. Praise God. These brothers were gone to Emmaus. And Jesus joined them and let them know, praise God, amen. Praise God. You don't have to lose hope. But the devil said, you don't have to lose hope. You don't have to give up. You don't have to frame your mind. Jesus caught up with those brothers. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Ask them what was the communication that they were having. What were they talking about? Amen. What was going on? They said, man, man you, been, you, you, you haven't been in Jerusalem. You don't know what's going on in Jerusalem. Amen. All this, all this that's been going on, how Jesus was crucified. Amen. How Annas and Caiaphas got mad, put him to death. Praise God. And, 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 and we were hoping, amen, that he would have brought restoration to Israel. Are y'all with me? But they said, but it's the third day now. We ain't heard nothing but what the women had said. They went to the sepulchre and they didn't see nobody. Praise God. Peter and John went also to the sepulchre and they realized and they recognized that the sepulchre was empty, but they didn't see nobody. Somebody said yes to Jesus. Hope deferred. It was a hope deferred. Make the heart set. But when desire happens, it's a tree of life. Praise God for Jesus. Amen. And when they went on into the, uh, into the house with the Lord, praise God, he broke bread with them and he revealed himself to them, to those brothers. Praise God. And when he revealed himself to those brothers, amen, then the mind came back. Amen. And they began to say, did not our heart rejoice? Praise God. As he talked with us by the way. Praise God. He renewed their hope. Somebody said yes to Jesus. Praise God. He renewed their hope and it was like 
would you ever say, a tree of life. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hope deferred makes the heart set. But when design happens, praise God, it's like a tree of life. Praise God for Jesus. Hallelujah. And there, there, there are, there are still, uh, incidents in the, in the Bible I want to share with you in the old Bible. Praise God in, the, in, the, in the Genesis, in Genesis uh, 42. I want you to see an illustration of what that's like. When hope, amen, when hope is like loss and people are starting to give up. Are you with me? Praise God for Jesus when folks give up and lose heart. Praise the Lord. I'm reading in 42 numbers of uh, uh, Genesis, the uh, 47 verse. I'll probably start, praise God, in the 33 verse. And the man, amen, the Lord of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Amen. Leave one of your brethren here with me and take food, praise God, for the famine, amen, of your household, amen, and be gone, amen, and bring your youngest brother unto me, praise God. Then shall I know that ye are not spies, amen, but uh, that ye are true men, amen, so will I deliver you, amen, you, your brother. And ye shall traffic, amen, in the land. That's where you be free. Praise God. I'll let you do what you want to do. And it came to pass as they emptied their sacks that behold, every man's bundle of, uh, of uh, money was in his sack. And when both of and, 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 and when both they and their father saw, amen, the bundle of, uh, of, uh, of money, amen, they was afraid. And Jacob, their father, said unto them, Praise God, ye uh, ye have ye have bereaved me of my ch of my children. And she said, Joseph, when you haven't said Joseph is dead. This is Jacob saying, Joseph is dead. Praise God, and Simeon is and, and Simeon is not. Amen. And ye have uh, taken Benjamin away. Amen. And uh, and all these things are against me. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying. Slay my two sons if I bring him not, amen, to thee. Amen. Deliver him into my hand, amen, and I bring him back to you. Amen. And, and he said, Jacob said to him, My son shall not go down with you. Amen. For his brother, help me say, is dead. Come on, help me say, that's like hope deferred. Amen. Jacob is thinking that Joseph is dead. He said, my, my, His brother is dead, and he's left alone. If mischief befall him by the way in which ye go, then shall ye bring down my gray hair, amen, with sorrow to the grave. In other words, in other words, uh, uh, Benjamin's not gone. Uh, Benjamin's not gone. I'm not going to let Benjamin go down in Egypt, which you are. Praise God, because, amen, praise God. Amen. His brother, Joseph, is already, amen, gone. Praise God, Joseph is already gone. And now you want to take Benjamin. Praise God, if Benjamin get down there and he don't get this, you're going to call me to come, you're going to call the way how to come down on my head. Amen. And you're going to bring me down to the grave. This is like, when you have said, hope deferred, make the heart sick. Heaven said, but when, but when, amen, when desire happens, it's like a tree of life. Praise God. Jacob is thinking that Joseph is dead. Jacob is thinking that Joseph had been killed by some, by some animal. Because they told him that. His, 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 son, his sons told him that, 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 that Jacob is dead. I mean, Joseph is dead. Praise God. But now look, amen, they go to uh, Egypt to get, amen, and to get corn. They go to Egypt, praise God, to get to get corn because in uh, in Canaan there's a famine. We have to say there's a famine, and Jacob is sending them to Egypt, praise God, to get uh, to get food, praise God, because Amen. Uh, uh, in, uh, in Canaan, Amen, it's a barren land, it's a famine land, and nothing is there, praise God. So they go down to Egypt to get some get some food, but guess what? When they get to Egypt, guess who they run into? They run into their brother. They say they run into their brother. They run into their brother, and they don't know that that Joseph. Heaven said they didn't know that Joseph. When you ever said Joseph is the governor of Egypt. Somebody out here may say yes to Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. They didn't know that their brother is the governor of Egypt, and now they 
coming back and they and he, he send them, he send them uh, send them to go back to their father. Praise God and let uh, and let Jacob know. Praise God. He go home. He go home. He go home to uh, 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 Simeon. Amen. To you praying and to you praying. Uh, uh, Benjamin with you. I'm going to keep Simeon. Go back and get the go back to their bed. He said, no, nah, Benjamin ain't gone. Uh -uh, Benjamin. Jacob said, Benjamin ain't gone. You can't take Benjamin. Uh -uh. Joseph already did. Now you want to take my, my youngest son. You want to take Benjamin, his brother. And you ain't going to do nothing. He get down, get down there. And, and he went for corn. Are you with me? They go, he get down there, praise God. And something happened to him. You know, I'm, 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 I'm just going to give up. It's going to kill me. That's what Jacob said, it's going to kill me. Are y'all, are y'all, is anybody, can anybody call me a little bit? Are you calling me a little bit? Well, I'm going now to, uh, to, uh, to Genesis 45. And I'm going to literally want you to see how hope, how hope turns around. How, how, how God goes ahead of you. And how God, praise God, amen, amen, is always ahead of the saints. Somebody help me say yes to Jesus. Praise God for Jesus. And I'm reading like uh, uh, Genesis uh, 45 and I'll start on like the 21st verse. Praise God. 21, 21st verse. Heaven said, And the children of Israel did so, and Joseph gave them wives. Now here, they're in Egypt. Praise God. And Joseph is giving them, give them wives. Are y'all with me? Amen. According to the commandment of Pharaoh's, and gave them providence. Provision for the way. And to all of them, amen, he gave each man, amen, change of raiment. Amen, amen. But to Benjamin, he gave 300 pieces of silver and five changing uh, raiment. Amen, amen. And to, and to his father, amen, he sent after, them, after this man, amen, 10 asses laden with good things of Egypt and 10, uh, and 10 she asses laden with corn. Amen. And with bread and with meat. Amen. For his father by the way. Amen. So he sent, amen, his brother in the way. Amen. Praise God. And they departed. Amen. And he said unto them, See that ye fall, amen, not out by the way. In other words, don't need to it. Don't go, no, don't go, go straight to your father. And they went up out of Egypt and came into the land of Canaan unto Jacob their father. And they told, praise God, him, saying, Heaven said, Joseph is alive. Heaven said, Joseph is alive. And he is the governor over all the land of Egypt. Praise God. When heaven said, Joseph is alive. And he is the governor over all the land of Egypt. And Jacob's heart fainted. Praise God. Because Jacob is saying, Joseph is dead. But now his, his, his son came and told him, hey man, look, Joseph not dead, Joseph is alive. And not only be alive, he's the governor over all Egypt. Do you, do you know Egypt is the greatest country in the world at this time? And guess who's in charge of the greatest country in the world? Heaven said, the one he's thinking is dead. Are y'all with me? Somebody help me say yes to Jesus. Hey man, and they told him, saying, Joseph is alive. And he's the governor over all the land of Egypt. And Jacob's heart fainted. Praise God. That's why, that's why when I said in that scripture, heaven said, hope deferred make the heart sick. Amen. But when desire happens, it's like a tree of life. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So you see in here, it say, and, and when they told Job, when they told uh, 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 Jacob, saying, Joseph is alive, and he's the governor of all the land of Egypt. It said, and Jacob hard thing. He couldn't take it. Amen. And, and he didn't believe it. Are y'all with me? Amen. And they told him all the words of Joseph. Amen. Which he had said unto them. And when he showed him, it said, when he showed them, and when he, and when, and when, brother, and when he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent, amen, to carry with them, amen, the Bible says, praise God, Jacob's spirit revived. It's a spirit, the spirit of Jacob, amen, amen. It's the spirit of Jacob, their father, revived. And Israel, which is Jacob, said, it's enough. Joseph, my son, never said, it's alive. I will go and see him before I die. Somebody say yes to Jesus. Amen. They convinced him that hope 
amen, that you thought was over, the, the hope that had you set, praise God, the hope that you think and praise God, that you despair from, amen, it's not over. When you ever say it's not over, God has fixed this situation, praise God. When you despair and when you get, God has a way, God has sent Joseph ahead of them. They went to Egypt, praise God, to get, to get food. Are y'all with me? And God had sent Joseph ahead of them to take care of them. That was the purpose for God, amen, allowing Joseph to go ahead of them. But they thinking that Jacob was thinking Joseph was dead. Are y'all with me? And when you give up, and when you lose heart, and when you fight, amen, you need to know that God is always ahead of you. Somebody ever said, God is always ahead of us. And God already got everything fixed. He shaped our lives, amen, for good when we love him. When you haven't said all things work together for good when we love the Lord. All we got to do is keep our mind on him, stay faithful to the Lord, and let him lead us. Let him go ahead of us. Amen. Joseph really went ahead of them. Somebody say yes to Jesus. God has sent Joseph ahead of them to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to save their life. Amen. But they didn't know that. Jacob didn't know it. And when they got out of Egypt, they didn't know it. Are y'all with me? They didn't know. They were not They were not for food. Amen. They didn't, they didn't know they were talking to their brother. Oh, y'all with me? And they didn't know that God had sent their brother ahead of them to take care of them. But when Jacob saw those, those, what, those wagons full of raisins, when Joseph saw those wagons full of corn, the Bible said his heart fainted because he couldn't take it. He couldn't believe it. Praise God. But when he realized what was happening, the Bible said his spirit revived. Somebody ever say his spirit revived. The spirit of Jacob, amen, that father revived. And Jacob said, this is enough. Praise God, praise God. Jacob said, this is enough. Amen. Joseph, my son, is alive. After 20 years, tell me, say, after 20 years, thinking that, Jake, thinking that Joseph is dead. For 20 years, he's thinking that Joseph is dead. Are you, are you with me? I said, for 20 years, his father's thinking that his son is dead. Are you all with me? Somebody help me say yes to Jesus. But God, those 20 years, God took Joseph. Amen. Praise God. God took Joseph. His brothers put him in, in, a, in a pit. Praise God. God fixed that situation. Amen. Where well, they got him out of the pit. He went to Potiphar's house. Amen. Falsely accused in Potiphar's house. Are y'all here with me? He ended up in jail. Are y'all with me? Amen. And then, praise God, after, J after interpreting dreams in jail, praise God, they, they, uh, they, uh, the uh, uh, Pharaoh sent for him, and when Pharaoh sent for him, praise God, amen, he interpreted Pharaoh's dream, amen, of these seven bad years and seven good years, and guess what? God was raising Joseph up. Are you with me? Would you have me say, hope deferred makes the heart set, but when desire happens, it's like a tree of life. Praise God for Jesus. And you may not know what God has. I, 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 uh, I was uh, I was trying to say, praise God, regardless of what going on, God is always ahead of the saints. God is always ahead of the saints. We have to say God is always ahead of the saints. Amen. God did not bring you this far to leave you. Is that right? Amen. God didn't pick us up to let us down. Are y'all with me? The work that He began in our life. Praise God. He will heal perform it to the day of Jesus Christ. And then this is a this is a work that God does. Would you have to say this is a work that God does? This is not something that this is not something that we did. Praise God. Amen. Amen. God perfects that. Praise God. That's concerning us. The work that He's done in our life and what He's doing in our life, He's gonna perfect it. Amen. We don't have to, we don't have to, we're not taking care of ourselves. We're not looking out for ourselves. Praise God. We're not, we're not making the way for ourselves. God is in control of our life. God is the one that's taking care of us. Is that right? Amen. You, we can really rest in the Lord. Somebody else said, we can really rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him and don't fret yourself. Praise God for Jesus. Amen. I want to, and, I, and I want to read to you, praise God, in Revelation 2 and 7. Praise God for Jesus. I'm trying, I'm trying to uh, not get too excited. But, but in, in, in Revelation 2 and 7, this, this exaltation, amen, was to this church, I believe, at Ephesus, amen. But thou hast, but this thou hast, that thou 
hated the deeds of the Nicolaitans, thus of which I also hate. And he that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say unto the churches. Even in your, even in your, uh, even in your uh, uh, not being so as God wants us to be, and even as though we are not always up to par. In other words, God said there are things there in uh, in uh, in Ephesus that I don't care for. Things there in Ephesus that I don't approve of. Praise God, are y'all with me? And He said to that to, to that church to remember what points you follow. Praise God, repent and do your first works. Amen. And he said, uh, and he said to them, there are some stuff that's going on in Nicolaitans. Is Amen. This is apostate stuff, bad teaching among the people. But praise God. But Jesus said, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say unto the church. And to him that overcometh, come on, heaven said, to him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the tree of life that's in the midst of the paradise of God. Praise God for Jesus. Would you ever say, He that has an ear to hear? Let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to the churches. And to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. That don't necessarily mean that you got to leave here to partake of this tree of life. Because Jesus, I said, Jesus, Jesus is this tree of life. Jesus. Praise God. Would you have me say, Jesus? Jesus? I mean, not an apple tree, not a pear tree. Praise God. Not a fruit tree. But would you have me say, He's a tree of life. Yes. And not it's not the kind of life, physical life, so much that that you and I experience right, experience right now. Praise God. Life is what's going on in the moment. Life is not, amen, praise God. Natural life is not what you did yesterday. And natural life is not what you plan to do tomorrow. Natural life is what's going on current, what's going on right now. Well, eternal life don't have no past. We have to say eternal life don't have no past. And eternal life don't have no future. He want to give us that life right now. Would you have to say, he want to give us the life, praise God, that, that, he, that he possesses. Amen. He said he will give us, praise God, amen, to partake of the tree. This is a tree of life. Praise God. When, when, uh, when, uh, this is a tree of life. In other words, the kind of life that God has. It's eternal life. You can't fathom it with your natural mind, but you can experience it. What you have to say, you can't fathom it with your natural mind. Praise it's, it's beyond any, uh, in, in, it's incomprehensible. You can't, you can't grasp it. It's beyond logic, but you can experience it. When you fellowship in the Father, and when you fellowship in His Son, you have eternal life already. You don't have to leave here to get it. And He wanted to give us to partake of that tree of life, praise God, that's in the, the midst of the paradise of God. He's talking about the church. You have me say the church. Praise God for Jesus. <laughs> Amen. In the midst of the saints. Christ is in the midst of the saints. Praise God for Jesus. And he wants us to partake. And when you hear the word of God, praise God. When you hear the word of God going forward, praise God. You, 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 are, you are hearing a man about the tree of life. Would you have me say yes to Jesus? Jesus, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. And he that has the Son has life. Somebody ought to say yes to Jesus. When you have Jesus, you have life. Praise God. You don't have to despair. You don't have to lose heart. You have everything that you need. Praise God for Jesus. Father, we're grateful and we're thankful. We bless you. We praise you. Hallelujah. Wonderful Savior. We give you praise, God. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say, hope that's deferred make the heart sick. But when desire happens, it's like a tree of life. In the name of Jesus, we want you to renew our hope, God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Help us to, help us to mount up again, revive our spirit. Help us to know, praise God, that we don't have to give up. 
Somebody say yes to Jesus. We don't have to lose heart. Praise God. But you are our hope of glory. You are our tree of life. Praise God for Jesus. Thank the Lord Jesus. Thank the Lord Jesus. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. 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 And those that have uh, uh, despaired to the place where their hope has despaired and where they hope that what they desire, amen, is gone. Praise God. And hope, amen, that's deterred and look like things are falling apart. Look like we're losing heart. Praise God. It look like we don't know which way to go. Or we don't know which way to turn. Hallelujah. You are here for us. In the name of Jesus. You are here for us. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. Wonderful Savior. You've already gone ahead of us. You've already prepared the way for us. As you did for Jacob. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You always shape circumstances for good for them that love God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. When our desire, you say, when desire happens, it's like a tree of life. And help us to experience this tree of life that's in the midst of this paradise of God. We love you, Lord. Touch hearts today. Touch minds in the name of Jesus. Bless your holy name. Renew strengths. In the name of Jesus, revive again. In the name of Jesus, encourage Lord. Bless your holy name, harbor my soul. Lift them bow down heads. Give hope and peace to troubled mind. In the name of Jesus, help us to know that we can put our trust in you. Help us to know that you never fail us. You never leave us. You never forsake us. In the name of Jesus, you did not pick us up just to let us die. Thank the Lord Jesus. You didn't bring us out just to leave us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But the work that you've begun in our life, you'll perform it till the day of Jesus Christ. You'll perfect that. Praise God, which concerned us. We love you for it. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen.